Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I have a short update video on the WaveShare monitor that they kindly sent me. And uh, thanks to a viewer of the first video, Yuris, thank you very much. He pointed me out to this media player which is called uh, AIMP, I think, A-I-M-P. It's from a Russian developer. But don't be scared, it's safe and it's completely free and you can download many many different skins for hi-fi players and uh, I was looking actually for a spectrum analyzer but I have one up there that's my Neo Spectrum, not, not this one, not the LED where's my finger? Uh, further up in the corner that you cannot see is my NeoPixel spectrum analyzer so I have a nice big spectrum analyzer and uh, I always liked hi-fi uh, music components and I did have a Technics and this is actually a Technics skin and I did have a Technics tower with a cassette player, DVD player, amp, uh, equalizer, um, turntable and uh, when I moved back from Germany I did sell it unfortunately and anyway I always like them and I'm looking around to find some to buy on the flea markets around here but I did not come across one yet so anyway uh, and I in this video oh also one correction <coughs> the link in the description uh, is an affiliate link I do get a small commission but it's not a link for a discount um, I got contact I did send them the link to the review video I made and they kindly reminded me that they do not have a system set up for um, coupons or uh, percent off on their website so but if you buy from their from WaveShare's website you get the best price instead of buying it somewhere else so uh, and they do have a gazillion of different monitors you don't have to get this one they do have all kinds of sizes touch screens uh, resolutions really and just check them out they have all kinds of displays and I'm sure you will find something that will fit your needs if not if it's not this one so anyway in this video I also wanted to show you how to set up the touchscreen I didn't know I checked I found a very nice simple video I put the link in from that video as a courtesy in the description as well but I wanted to show you how you do it so you go into your control panel and in the control panel let me see if I can zoom in. I'm recording it with my Canon, so uh, be gentle with me if I screw something up. Just wanted to zoom in. Okay, here we go. So you go into PC, uh, tablet PC settings, click on that, and you then you will get this window up there now okay and all you do is click setup and then you get these two screens let me now zoom out again you get these two screens on both monitors and um, if the big one for example would be your touch screen you touch it you touch it and if it's not that monitor which is obviously not this is a touch screen you click enter and then it switches to the smaller screen and all you do is tap the screen with one button or with one button <laughs> I mean just tap the screen once and that's it your small monitor is now set up to have correct um, touch control so let me and then you can just go OK and close that and um, 
As you can see the skin does not fit quite into the monitor. I can adjust it a little bit. So I know it techniques so I go a little higher and a little to the left so I get all the buttons here on the bottom and then I can pin window position so it won't move again. And this is it. And then you can just touch the screen I hope that did not trigger YouTube's uh, copyright. Uh, it's a song from Leslie, a French uh, singer, female singer, very nice voice, very nice songs. Anyway, uh, that's how you configure the touchscreen and you can use it. And now I will definitely have to find my USB to HDMI adapter so I can add this beautiful screen to my setup probably on top of my uh, second monitor here and uh, please yep uh, focus and I in this uh, I video I wanted to show you also my uh, Mac volume magnetic encoder volume and this is it now you can if you look where is it You're on the vol on the big monitor on the bottom you can see the volume change you can obviously higher or lower and this encoder also has an accelerometer in it and I use that if I tap it it does mute it if I tap it again it does come out of mute and I can also mute it and then just adjust the volume it comes out of the mute and this is my Mac volume. It's the same hardware obviously with my Mac scroll. And if you look closely, if I have this on my playlist, I can, oops, you have to put the mouse pointer on there. I can move and select all the songs I have. And you cannot move with your mouse this fast and find what you're looking for this is if you do it with the mouse you're gonna get a cramp in your finger so really believe me when I say it and I'm not saying it because I made it but I'm proud of it obviously with a magnetic encoder you can scroll seeming seamlessly through your playlist no matter how long it is and this guilt uh, this uh, guilt das gilt that's all German um, that's the same applies to websites and whatever you want to scroll if you have a long list you can easily scroll through your list whatever it is spreadsheet code whatever so anyway, this is it for today. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I will answer them. Thanks again, Yuris. You saved my life. I love this player. I love the skins. And these are all free. Free player, free skins. It also has an Android version. But that, unfortunately, as far as I uh, could figure it out, does not support uh, skins. Because if it would, I would have connected my monitor to a Android stick that I have laying around somewhere. It's an old one, but it does have HDMI output. And I would have used that uh, with this player, but unfortunately it does not support skins. And the whole purpose of this is the skins, and there are so many out there. Uh, just check them out, I will also put a link in the description and um, if you like it if you want to see it i will show you different sk skins for that uh, you basically go into your into the main player here i hope you can see the mouse here right there you right click and then you go to skins and these are the different skins that i have downloaded and then you can just choose whatever you like and uh, use it as again it's free no ads 
know nothing. Unlike other players out there that bombard you with ads and whatnot, or try to charge you money for it. Anyway, I hope uh, you like this video. If you do, click the thumbs up button. And if you want to get notified on future videos, uh, please do hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. And if you can, if you want to support me, check out my Tindy store where you can buy products, Max Scroll and Mac Volume, not yet, because those go on my third Kickstarter campaign. And I will need all the support I can get for that. And um, although my Neo Clock was funded and uh, I'm still in the red numbers because I had spent so much money to get that going. And um, anyway, again, if you like it, please do support me. And uh, this is it. I wish everybody a great week. Thanks for watching and take care, everybody.